Hello, I know that I am very overdue for a report on the 17 weeks um, journey to wellness that actually ended a few weeks back. I apologize for the delay in posting, but life had gotten pretty hectic and I didn't want to rush through the report. Um, didn't want to rush through what I have um, to report to you guys and what I have actually um, found out and you know the experience and whatnot. I really want it to be something comprehensive. And so since I am finally on vacation, I'm able to take time to report. So in terms of the progress weight-wise, I ended up um, losing 11.5 pounds and then um, I didn't go any lower than that. And so that was in 17 weeks. In 17 weeks, I lost 11.5, but my BMI dropped my body fat percentage dropped um i lost inches all over and i actually also a non one of the non scale victories that i'm really really happy about is that i'm able to um now um jog a whole mile um before stopping um i'm slowly gradually getting back into um half marathon shape so we're going to start with a 5k first because now i can do um walk a mile with intervals and then do an entire mile jogging and then do another mile with intervals um so right then and there that's a little 5k so i'm happy i'm happy to report all that um what have i learned um something very very simple that it really 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 matters how well you plan how well i plan on the weeks that I planned, um, that I did my meal planning, um, that I took food with me when I was going to be on the road, um, that I made sure that I had my water. On the weeks that I planned, it was a direct correlation with how well I did in terms of progress. On the weeks that I did not plan, it was also a direct correlation because if I wasn't um, grocery shopping and I didn't meal plan and I didn't have, and by meal planning, by the way, I don't mean for me to cook and have everything ready for the week. I mean going to the grocery store with the meals of the week in mind, buying what I need for those days, and yes, having some kind of preparation during the weekend so that over the week while I'm very busy and typically short on time, all I have to do is just grab and go. So those things um, were very important and they literally made or, uh, you know, sunk my um, progress. Um, the other thing too, in terms of the sleeping, I actually was able to finally um, get back to a regimen, but that actually was towards the end of the program. Um, I finally got back to a sleeping regimen that I'm still trying to maintain um, because it's very important if I don't sleep well I don't have the energy the next day to do the things that I need to do and so that's not good now um, remember at the beginning of the program of the plan I had said that I wanted to lose an average of one to two pounds a week for 17 weeks so I was looking at 17 pounds to 34 pounds by the end of the 17 week journey to wellness as you can tell, as I mentioned, I've only, and I hate saying only because it is quite significant. If I hadn't started, I would have still been at the same weight that I was at, or even worse, I might have even gained more. So I did not do exactly that. But the good thing about it is that I can continue on this journey. Nothing says that because I said 17 weeks, this is where it stops. And that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today, that, you know, when you give yourself a deadline, when you give yourself a range, um, remember that there is room for flexibility. Remember that the end of a program does not mean the end of your wellness journey. And learning to take the tools that I used during those 17 weeks is what's going to propel me forward as I continue on another 17 and another 17 and so on because I do realize that this is going something um, this is going to be something that's going to be a lifelong journey um, not just a um, short-term program so that's very important for me um, now um, when the last three weeks of the program I actually had um, I want to say reverted a little bit to some old habits and at one point I really felt like I was unraveling because I wasn't sleeping well, um, I wasn't planning, I had gotten off track and whatnot so it was kind of difficult for me to um, 
see the progress. And it was actually kind of nerve wracking because I knew, listen, I mean, I started this program. I started it very publicly. I'm going to need to report. I have to stay um, true to that. And I didn't want to have to report quote unquote failure. And so it was kind of difficult because, you know, that was one of the reasons why I was like, oh my goodness, I was anxious about it. But then I had to realize, listen, even in quote unquote failure, there's something to report. There's a lesson to be learned and there's a way to adjust. And so if I, as at the beginning, I promise was going to keep it real, the good, the bad and the ugly. I also have to report on the fact that, you know what? There are times when you're going to aim for, for a certain amount of um, progress within a certain length of time, and it's not going to be achieved, and it's okay. So I, it was very important for me to say that, and I really felt like it was necessary for me to include that in there. So I'm going to stop for now, but I am going to probably post again because now I have a whole week of vacation. Um, during which I'm able to relax and journal and I'm pretty sure that there are certain things that I'm going to want to share with you guys. So to your health and mine, um, while I'm here, I do plan on being healthy. I do plan on staying on a nice sleeping regimen, getting plenty of pampering, plenty of rest, plenty of family time. Um, also, some exercise. Yes, I did bring along my sneakers and my workout clothes with me because I actually have... Um, quite a beautiful scenery for me to work out in and I want to get in some of that stuff. So again, to your health and mine, I will be back fairly soon and I hope to be bringing with me plenty of sunshine and happy, happy, joy, joy. Talk to you soon. Bye.